Sermon for Christmas 2020, Pfarrer Rolf Hermann Lingen, Dorsten, Germany, December 22, 2020. In several churches, which are currently occupied by the sect of the so-called Second Vatican Council, there are now nativity scenes put up with masked figurines. And already in August 2020, a so-called Archbishop of the Vatican II sect tweeted a picture of the Virgin Mary holding her young son in her arms, both wearing a mask. The Vatican II Archbishop commented this picture, Our Lady of Covid, pray for us. For months now, many states force their people to wear masks. However, according to moral theology, common welfare demands that the law is morally good, possible of observance and necessary for or at least conductive to the common good. A law that fails short of this qualification has no binding force. Obviously, a mask mandate cannot have any binding force because many studies prove that masks are useless to hinder infections. For example, the Danish study from 2020 known as Denmask 19 and also why face masks don't work, a revealing review from 2016. Literature reviews have confirmed that wearing a mask during surgery has no impact whatsoever on wound infections rates during clean surgery. A recent 2014 report states categorically that no clinical trials have ever shown that wearing a mask prevents contamination of surgical sites. This primary reason for mandating The wearing of the face mask is to protect dental personnel from airborne pathogens. This review has established that face masks are incapable of providing such a level of protection. Unless the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, National and Provincial Dental Association and Regulatory Agencies publicly admit this fact, they will be guilty of perpetuating a myth which will be a disservice to the dental profession and its patients. This review from 2016 is exceptionally prominent because in 2020 the publishing site replaced it by the note the content was published in 2016 and is no longer relevant in our current climate. Is truth changeable like the weather? And do masks have any effect at all? In August 2020, the New York Post published an article, The New Oral Hygiene Issue Caused by, you guessed it, Wearing a Mask All the Time to Prevent the Spread of the Coronavirus, is leading to all kinds of dental disasters like decaying teeth, receding gum lines and seriously sour breath. We are seeing inflammation in people's gums that have been healthy forever, and cavities in people who have never had them before, says Dr. Rob, Rob Raimondi, a dentist and co-founder of One Manhattan Dental. About 50% of our patients are being impacted by this, so we decided to name it Mask Mouth. Yes, masks do have disastrous effects and oral health is only one of many aspects. Masks do harm, not only physically but also psychologically. People lose their face. You do not see other people anymore but you see only faceless beings. And even far more worse, instead of a human, you do see a walking virus, a poison, a danger, a threat to your health and to your life. The mask is part of the religion of hatred. This whole COVID fraud based on misleading data about healthcare units and the seasonal flu based on misleading PCR tests, based on misleading numbers of so-called cases, based on misleading hygiene hysteria, based on lies of all kind is leading to dehumanization, to enslavement under Satan's power. And that is why the Vatican II sect is showing Jesus Christ with a mask. Christ is shown as a walking virus, as a danger, as a threat to our health and to our life. The Catholic Church teaches that 
Jesus changed water into wine with five loaves. He fed over 5,000 people by a word. He calmed the winds and the waves. He cured all sorts of diseases and raised even the dead to life. We call such works miracles because they are beyond the natural power of man and can be ascribed only to the omnipotence of God. Jesus suffered death of his own free will. He was offered because it was his own will. Christ will come again at in the end of the world with great power and majesty to judge all men, both the good and the wicked. However, that so-called Jesus Christ of the Vatican II sect is not the savior. Instead, this Vatican II Jesus spreads a satanic fraud of a killer virus of hygiene hysteria of wearing medically useless, medically dangerous and psychologically devastating masks. He is a follower of the satan satanic Great Reset. Catholic Christmas is replaced by Vatican II Christ, Christ mask. Christ mask is total blasphemy. That is why medical doctors all around the world are telling us those absurd corona lies. Many, of, many are members of Rotary Club, of Freemasonry and even of the Vatican II sect. But there are still a few doctors who tell the truth. In August 2020, a medical doctor said during a speech against the corona deception, wearing a mask is against my Hippocratic oath. Whoever enslaves himself to this COVID fraud is guilty of perpetuating a myth which has already destroyed the life and the livelihood, which has already destroyed the physical and mental health of millions of people. So what excuse could you possibly have if you take part in this devastating hoax, which is known as the crime of the century? And remember, the WHO, the so-called World Health Organization, is known as World Hoax Organization and World Hell Organization. Indeed, you must know the diabolical background of Luce's Trust and the United Nations. The Novus Ordo of Vatican II and the New World Order of the Globalists belong together. But although though there are many texts and videos about Satanism in Rotary, in Freemasonry, in the Vatican II sect, in the United Nations, in rock music, etc., always be aware that the Catholic Church is the only Ark of Salvation and that he who shall not have entered therein will perish in the flood. Yes, fight against the corona crime. Do not be guilty of perpetuating a myth which deeply hurts the physical and mental health of the people. Do not be guilty of perpetuating a myth which has already ruined the life of hundreds of millions. Do not be guilty of perpetuating the corona crime, but do all this from inside the only Ark of Salvation, from inside the Catholic Church. As Pope Leo XIII uh, said, we wish it to be your rule first of all to tear away the mask from Freemasonry and to let it be seen as it really is. Unmask the kingdom of Satan. Let its true face be seen. Do not be fooled by Satan's masquerade but fight against Satan's masquerade. Come to the crib of Jesus Christ to worship him, the Savior. Amen.